So the last chapter for section 4 is baseline and how to create them. Up till now, we have looked into the intent and outtent part of the Microsoft project with different views which are related to timelines and then we got a gist of what exactly the cost is when it comes to working on Microsoft project. In this chapter, we will be looking into the baseline what exactly are baselines and how to create them, followed by a quiz and an assignment. When you have created a project schedule that satisfies all the requirements of your project, including the scope of the project, available resources, limitation of time and budget, and of acceptable quality consideration, then it is time to go to the next step. And that next step is to execute your project. So Microsoft Project can and should be used as an effective tool throughout the life of your project. Very typically, before you go into execution, you will seek approval from your stakeholders. Your project plan at that stage is just a proposed plan. What I mean by that is Changes are inevitable in your project and your plan, after it is approved in some way, plays many roles. Firstly, it is a form of agreed scope of the project. Secondly, it shows the original plan of execution as all the stakeholders have agreed on. Thirdly, it shows resources that have been agreed to be used on the project. The resources can be people, machinery, money, etc. Fourthly, it shows what the original agreed time schedule was. Like this, your project plan after it has been approved does many roles. Anything or everything of these might change during the course of the project and very often they do. Now, the million dollar question is, how do you keep a track of these changes? If we were using some inferior tool for doing all of this, you would probably save in another file with a new name, maybe version 1.0 and then version 2.0 and so on. We have all been there, but you will not need to do this from now on because you are using Microsoft Project and project allows you to use a feature called baseline. So baseline basically allows you to keep snapshot of your project at a specific date, all in the same file. And the real deal winner is that baseline will never ever give you a different visual. It is only going to allow you to see variance visual and do all sort of impressive calculations and reporting based on your baseline. We will explore this baseline feature now. I'll quickly fire up my Microsoft project. So, we have learned from very basics of creating a schedule, starting with a simple to-do list, creating a simple task list on the project, then linking those tasks and creating task dependencies. Furthermore, we have learned assigning tasks to resources and actually creating a schedule using the power of project, scheduling and algorithm. We also have learned how to identify and resolve some simple issues with the schedule such as resource over allocation. And all of these activities are typically done in the initial phase of the project. And this is where many project managers typically stop using project as they are missing out on the most powerful utility of this application. Because Microsoft Project allows you to track, analyze, monitor and control through the entire length of the project life cycle. When you have verified that everything is in order and you have got approvals from the management and the customer, it is time to baseline your schedule. A baseline is essentially a snapshot of your project at a given time. Therefore, 
when you baseline your project after you have created the schedule it is a snapshot of the planned schedule with no actual work track or recorded yet the baseline will be very important later in the project as you compare actual data with planned data the baseline enables you to compare what is happening with what was planned to happen according to the schedule this is important because the work and duration fields are actually planned fields that start to change as actual work is entered now in this lesson we will learn how to create a baseline first before we create a baseline let us see the variance table and let us see how our schedule looks if we do not have a baseline saved yet we have already created a schedule started a project and progressed to some distance into it already in the exercise the schedule is in a ready state on your screen i have our exercise schedule that has task created linkages have been set up resources have been allocated assignments have been done so that no over allocation exists in the previous lesson however we have not yet set up a baseline so let us now look at the variance table to see how the table looks without having a baseline first what do you see in the variance table in the click of the view tab this is your view tab now when you look into the view tab you can see that there is already a gantt chart here we are in the project tab now in the schedule section you will see a button as set baseline this opens up a drop down that you can see here and we will choose the first option that is to set baseline a dialog box will open up and there we can set our parameters in the first option you can either choose between creating a baseline or setting an interim plan basically what the set interim plan does this is for work in progress files and you can keep saving incrementally progressive versions of your plan this is not what we want to do currently so i'll remain with the set baseline option now in this dialog box here you can see that option baseline is chosen by default but when you expand this list you can see there are other 10 more options baseline 1 through baseline 10 this means that you can have up to 11 baselines simultaneously for your project and 11 baselines should suffice for even the most complicated project schedules also but for now we are only creating the very first baseline in the launch of the project so we'll just retain the default name baseline you can then choose from the second option how much you want to baseline whether it is for the entire project or is it going to be the selected task only fine the second option is good what we want to do now is to baseline this entire project and we will just retain this also for now and when you click okay the entire project schedule has been baseline what this means is that on all of these columns that you see here and all their data have been saved for future reference for you and comparison with the future state of the schedule now let us use the variance table once again how does it look like with the baseline created now i'll open it once again from the view tab table and choose variance table now we are at view tab and from the tables here i can look for variance table because now we see the baseline column start and finish 
which is here baseline finish and baseline start have been populated though they now show the same values as your planned start and finish in the future when there are inevitable changes the schedule you can actually understand the performance of your schedule because you will now have something to compare against you can also keep on creating multiple baselines throughout the length of the project let us keep these baseline open as of now so the conclusion to this whole thing is that a baseline can be a very important aspect in your microsoft project because it is going to show up a time stamp value for your comparison with the future values so in this lesson we have seen the relevance and importance of baselining your schedule we have then seen how to create the first and more baselines of your project and how they can also be cleared we have also seen the variance table which help us in tracking and monitoring project schedule performance using baseline is a fantastic project management best practice and it is highly recommended moving on to the next part which is going to be a conclusion of this section and this course